again, but it feels different. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. What's she playing at? Maybe how is the question? go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me what you did? We were just playing. Emily, just... What's your account? It was her! Delilah's life! She broke it! prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. How much of this is true, and how much is Delilah's warped imagination? Fifteen years ago, the Loyalist Conspiracy asked me to kidnap Anton Sokolov, and I did. I took him from his home to the pub we were hiding in, and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? He laughed at us. He told dirty stories. Taught Emily more than her governess could in six months. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Even in the void, if only I could 
to do more. Jessamine, Delilah's stronger now. Am, Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? Of course not. She's driving all of this. Our decisions, decisions have weight. I feel, I feel my time, time drawing to an end. Soon. age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see that you're still with us. Thank you for helping Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, He'll undo my best efforts here. I'm working on that. Believe me, the Duke has my full attention. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I'll do what I can, Alexandria. I wish there was something I could remember to help in your efforts. Megan is worried that someone will see us coming and going. I might depart soon. Anton and I are both in your debt. Jindosh wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Corvo did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Cool, though. Oh, the Royal Protector has risen. A bad night? Maybe you've been sleeping on goose feathers too long. Sit down when you want to talk. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak, but it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Kovo, she's right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to.
There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. Maybe I should begin a series of bloodfly-related sketches, infested corpses and the like. I've never paid a visit to the Royal Conservatory, but allegedly it has a number of unique pieces. The familiar creaks and groans of the dreadful whale. I lie awake listening, just to remind myself I'm safe again. Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. Ashworth has an interest in the occult. That's a snotty way to put it. In another life, you might be facing me along with her. Head to the skiff when you're ready, Corvo. Delilah's cult must be thrilled she's got the throne. But she wouldn't piss on them if they were on fire. Jessamine's face has never faded from my memory. Could Delilah truly be her sister? I painted that from memory, which is a tricky thing. But I must admit to seeing some of the old Emperor's features in her face. It was long ago when I took Delilah in, whipped thin, angry and brilliant. But her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. Delilah's paintings are chaotic, but she sculpts much better than you, Anton. You knew Delilah? When were you going to tell me? When you needed to know. My past is none of your business, Royal Protector. Another lifetime. We all came to Karnaka for our own reasons, Corvo. Megan had hers too. I'm sure you understand the need for secrets. Still there, 
in his mind. Every formula, every equation, harder and harder to recall. In his dreams, he sees the names and faces of every subject he experimented on. In the name of progress, he would flock to his lectures. When, when all the seats were full, they would line the hallways, straining to hear. Hypatia, Jindosh, all the great minds of today owe him a debt. And when Jindosh held him, Sokolov believed he would die. And then it changed him. He is so tired. He was remembering the great voyage he took by sea. So many men lost, reaching Pandisia. Burning wastes. Anton, how great you were. Rest now, my friend. If he has any other secrets, they are hidden from me. Jindosh won't be making his army of clockwork soldiers. Unusual that Delilah would be working with another occultist like Ashworth. Huh. Shuttered to the public. Wonder what's going on inside the Royal Conservatory. The Duke's incompetence? Or something more suspicious? The closest path to the Royal Conservatory should be through Syria Gardens. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. be a grand guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Our furniture workshop. How long do we have to leave? As long as it takes. We'll be picking up balusters and spindles made of zirconian umberwood. I thought the old Duke Theodanus outlawed umberwood export to protect the trees. I can't keep track of all the decrees. 
My client's refurbishing her gazebo, adding an exotic southern touch. I don't get it. When I went to Dunwall, I brought back a river cross show to use as an ashtray. Because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. If you can find Byrne's spying setup, he's probably collected some useful notes about whatever Ashworth is up to. Brianna Ashworth is a true believer. She'll never turn away from Delilah. I'll meet you back here when it's done. Keep your head down and you might avoid a bloodbath. Delilah's coven crossed paths with my old gang 15 years back. It was a bad time. some no-gooder with a knife. Why me? Hmm. Someone looks armed and dangerous. Oh. Day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Oh no, please! I have nothing. I'm just a poor maid. I see you've heard the stories about Pirate Betty, about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy! Don't hurt me! Should I start by cutting off your nose? No. Or maybe I could sign my name across your forehead with a knife. Use you as a human billboard. Help! Murderer! <sighs> All right, no one's coming. What a bunch of cowards. We'll try it again later. This when the what? void was at north. Huh? Sorry, we're closed. All right, we're open, but please make it quick. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. No, think about it. See anything you like? Welcome back. Please, take your time. I look forward to the day when I can reopen. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Excellent choice. 